Okay, yes, it has been a while, but I am back. Yes, it's back. And I got phone cases. What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And if you're new here, I do videos just like this as well as ADHD tips. So if that sounds like your jam, consider subscribing. And to all my returning subscribers, what's up fam? Where y'all been? <laughs> just kidding. I'm the one that's been gone for like the longest time just to give you a little brief summary. Something happened like when 2020 hit I lost my mojo and I just haven't been motivated to do any videos and then as soon as I got my motivation back your boy got sick and I was sick for like two weeks so I'm finally like kind of sort of back in the game so I decided let's get back on that YouTube train so thank you for your patience thank you for everyone who stayed subscribed and subscribed while I was out now let's get back into it with some Dollar Tree phone cases as you can see I got, what do I, what do I have, six? I have six of them, six. So I'm gonna test these babies out, see if they're worth your dollar, <laughs> literally. And let's go ahead, get them cracked open, give you an upfront and close and personal view of them, and see what we think. All right, first case up to bat. The uh, bird's eye view, as you can tell, this is a mirror case. All these cases are going to be tried on my iPhone 10R, and all of these cases are by eCircuit from the Dollar Tree. So that's what the casing looks like. Nothing fancy at all. Well, depending on your taste, this could be fancy. Let's crack it open. Uh, first impressions, it feels feels sturdy, feels nice and sturdy. Of course, it's not real glass on the back, but it still gives you that mirror. Uh, for those vain people out there that like to keep checking on their their looks, um, they'll have a mirror right on the back of their iPhone, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Let's see how my iPhone 10R fits in here. fits like a glove there it is smeared up so that's one thing I say about it it is going to get smeared up with the mirror on there but fits nice and tight it's got some padding on it I still wouldn't be trustworthy with this in regards to dropping it but it will prevent your phone from scratching and if you want to get your vein on, you can just turn it around and say, damn, I'm looking pretty good today. Next case. This is a, just a black standard case with, um, with a unique pattern on it. Let's crack it open. Quality, <laughs> cheap. <laughs> this one feels way cheaper than that first case. Flimsy. This is not gonna protect anything. There's that unique pattern on it. Let's see how it feels on the phone. Let's get that over. You gonna get over that lip? There you go. So, snug as a bug in a rug. As far as the fit, it actually, it feels a lot better once you put it on your phone. It does feel nice. Uh, does it feel quality? <laughs> uh, not so much. It's not like a Pataka case or a later case. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> yeah, it's got a good grip to it. But once again, don't expect this thing to protect your phone if you drop it, but it will protect it from scratches while looking 
somewhat decent for a dollar. The next case, the uh, cotton candy case, I guess you would call it. Um, yeah, let's open it. Figured I'd get this one for the, the teenage girls out there or younger. I don't think a teenage girl would probably want to rock this. I thought it would compliment my pink iPhone. Yeah, this coral on my ass. This is pink. <laughs> so first impressions to fill in the quality. Super thin, super cheap. The patterns are pretty cool. Might wear off on you after a while, after long term use. Let's see how it fits on the phone. And it's got a nice grip to it on the phone. And I was right about the patterns complimenting the, the pinkness. <laughs> Of my iPhone 10R, so it does complement it. It looks, it actually looks pretty cool. Yep, once again, don't drop your phone. It's not going to protect anything at all, but it will protect it from scratches while looking kind of stylish. That's stylish. Speaking of pink, <laughs> here is a pink case that has a small mirror on the back. Now. Here's what I would say about this. I think that little mirror is good for, say you're not happy with the selfie quality of the front camera. You can now take a selfie with your rear camera because you got a mirror up here. I think that's what E-Circuit was thinking about when they did this. Okay, this one feels the cheapest out of all of them. Super flimsy. There's a little mirror on the back. Same issue with the first case. Smudge City. Let's try it on the phone. So, it feels kind of rough. Like the texture of it is rough. I don't like the texture at all. But like I said right there, you can take advantage of that little mirror if you want to take selfies with the rear facing camera instead of the front facing. That's the only reason why I think that's there, to be honest with you. The fill quality is super cheap, super rough material. Don't like it at all. Once again, you drop your phone in this case. <laughs> it's, you might as well not even have a case on it. All right, here's some more of that cotton candy love. Just like that previous case. And I think this a compliment iPhone 10Rs. They have colors on it. Not quite sure how it look on the black one. No difference. Super flimsy. Throw it in there. See how well it complements my pink phone. <laughs> and that actually looks pretty cool. It looks kind of, I don't know if you can see it, it looks kind of three dimensional. So, uh, gives it a different look if you want the clear case and you still want to see the color of your phone It is weird how that looks kind of like three-dimensional um, Once again, don't drop it. That's not what this case is for. It's not out of box <laughs> Or tech 21 for that matter, but yeah make your phone look nice and Keep it free from scuffs And last but not least I kept this phone case for last this is one that has a kickstand on it for a dollar <laughs> at your local Dollar Tree. I say this one for last because to be honest with you, it's a uh, rough plastic and kind of worried that it's gonna scratch up my phone to be honest with you. But we'll find out, let's take it out of here. The plastic feels, feels sturdy enough. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Let's see how it looks on the phone. Snaps on pretty easily. I think my worries are free now. 
get rid of that wish.com notification. <laughs> looks good, looks clean. Actually feels pretty nice. No coverage here nor there. So once again, drop this phone in this case. You're not doing yourself any favors because this ain't gonna protect it. And there's that little kickstand there. So you can set your phone up like that and stare at me and the camera <laughs> and watch your content. Not too shabby for a dollar. Okay, so out of all of these phone cases, which do I recommend or which would I say are my favorites? Well, I'm going to say that out of all of these, I kind of like this one the most. Like I said, it's flimsy. It's not going to protect you at all if you drop your phone, but it looks kind of stylish. I like it and it'll protect your phone from scratches. So I will probably be using this one in the future. And believe it or not, I like this one. Not for the vanity of it, but it's a nice and sturdy case. And it does have a little protection. You're gonna do a lot better if you drop your phone with this case on it than you will with this one and that previous one that I picked. But these are my two favorite. Uh, these I'm not gonna be rocking anytime soon. I guess I'll find a friend that has an iPhone XR that might want these. This one with the kickstand, I don't like it either because it doesn't have that much protection on it. But all in all, I paid $6 for six cases. So to get two winners out of it, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, gotta love your Dollar Tree. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a big ol' thumbs up if you hated it you can give it a thumbs down but no matter what you do don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified every time i upload new videos and once again i apologize for the hiatus like i said lost my mojo got it back and as soon as i got it back i got sick now all is well now it's time to start filming more videos and to be honest with you getting myself back in shape because during that time where I lost my mojo and got sick your boy put on a little bit of LB so it's time to start hit the gym again watching the food you know what I'm saying all right until I see you in the next video this is PJ the great saying Audi 5000 G yeah I miss you guys and gals miss you I miss doing this it's great to be back. back again.